many years ago, there was a man named Akiva. Akiva was a shepherd. What does a shepherd do? A shepherd takes care of sheep. He was an expert at taking care of sheep. He had been doing it since he was a little boy. His father was a shepherd and taught him everything he knew. Oh, Akiva's family was very, very poor. When he was young, like five years old, he said, oh, I guess I'm ready to go to school. And his dad said, oh, I'm so sorry, Akiva. We don't have enough money for you to go to school. You have to go to work. I can't make enough money for our family. I'm going to teach you how to be a shepherd. And you're going to get a job as a shepherd, taking care of sheep. And you'll get paid and we'll use that money for our family because we need to buy food. Oh, Akiva was sad. Oh, I really wish I could go to school, but I have to help my family. And so his father taught him all about sheep. And he took such good care of them. And he had a job. And he worked for many, many years taking care of sheep. He became an expert. Well, who did Akiva work for? Well, Akiva worked for a very rich man. The rich man's name was Kalba Savua. Kalba Savua was very wealthy. He had a huge house with beautiful furniture. And Akiva was not his only shepherd. He had so many sheep that he needed lots of shepherds. Each shepherd got their own herd to take care of. And Kalba Savua had a daughter, and her name was Rachel. Rachel was such a lovely girl. Oh, she was so lovely. And she was raised by her father. Her mother had passed away. Her father was a wonderful father. He gave her everything she wanted and everything she needed. And as Rachel started getting older, her father, Kalba Savu, said to her, Oh, my dear daughter Rachel, it's time for you to get married. I'm going to go to all of the best yeshivas and bring back for you the best yeshiva students, Talmidei Chachamim. And so he did. He went to all the yeshivas, and one after one, he brought the boys to the house. And Rachel would meet them, and she would say, Oh, father, not that one. Her father would tell her, but Rachel, that was the smartest boy in the yeshiva. He said, okay, what will I do? I'll, I'll go to another yeshiva and see who their smartest boy is. And he brought him home, and Rachel would say, no. I can't marry him. He's he's very smart. You're right, father. But he's he's not so kind. Mm, I need a husband that's kind. So her father would say, okay, well, I'll go to another yeshiva. And I'll see who the smartest boys are there. And so he went to the next yeshiva and brought home another boy. And Rachel met him and spoke with him. He thought, oh, yes, he is very smart. So her father said, oh, is this the boy you're going to marry? She said, no, father, you're right. He is very smart. But he's bragging all the time. Mm, I can't marry someone who's like that. I need someone who's humble and someone who's kind. So her father said, well, I'm going to keep looking from yeshiva to yeshiva, all the best yeshivas, and I'm going to bring all the best boys and you're going to pick one to be your husband. You're such a wonderful girl, Rachel. And one after another, lots of boys came. But Rachel did not want to marry any of them. Mm, there's someone else that Rachel wanted to marry. Rachel would go out to the fields, and she would see, oh, there was someone who was so kind to the sheep. He would pat them and make sure they had enough to eat and enough to drink. And the ones that were small, he would take such good care of. And she would hear him telling them stories and singing to them. Oh, thought Rachel. Hmm. This boy, Akiva, that's who I want to marry. He's kind and humble and gentle. That is the right husband to have. Mm, 
she thought, what should I do? So one day, when Eva was out in the field, Oh, went out to the field. And she said to him, Oh, Eva, um, I would love to marry you. Would you like to marry me? Akiva said, Oh, my goodness, I would love to marry you, Rahm. You're such a wonderful, kind, lovely girl. That would be wonderful. But Rachel said, Well, that sounds wonderful, but I just have one condition. If you agree to go to yeshiva to learn Tonga, I will marry you. Hmm, said Akiva. Well, look, I'm already 40 years old, and that's pretty old to go to yeshiva. Imagine if I had to sit in a class with five-year-olds, and they would say, Akiva, what's this? And I would say, hmm, bays. And the five-year-olds would say, no, 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 that's the owl. Imagine, I would be so embarrassed. I, I don't know what I would do. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going to think about it, because I really would love to marry you, Rachel, but I think 40 years old is really a little bit too old to go to yeshiva. But I'm going to think about it, and I'll get back to you. Mm, this story will be continued.